Ya. This past Shabbat, for the first time in 130 years, Parkey Synagogue has closed its doors because of concerns for the well-being of its population, the New York City population, the world, in fact, the entire world, follows with great concern the coronavirus, and it's so important that we keep to the guidelines of health officials, and this is really a uh, changing point in history, which brings me back to a story that took place in the year 1848 in the city of Vilna, back in Europe, in Lithuania. There was a terrible outbreak of the cholera, and the high holidays were approaching. One of the greatest rabbis was standing in synagogue. It was Yom Kippur morning in Vilna. The rabbi's name is Rabbi Yisrael Salanter. He was one of the most respected individuals, one of the most admired scholars of the generation, and he stood up in front of the entire congregation in a synagogue, perhaps like this, in the city of Vilna. And he's standing there and he speaks about the sanctity of Yom Kippur, the beauty of the holiday, the importance of the holiday, and everyone's standing there and fasting. And he suddenly says, God tells us, take care of yourselves, make sure that you serve me and you do my commandments, but also take sure make sure you take care of your body so that your body is able to serve me. And just as it's a mitzvah to fast on Yom Kippur, it's also a mitzvah to take care of our body. And he took out a Kiddush cup, held it in front of the entire congregation, and drank, made a blessing, drank in front of the entire congregation, and ate some cake, and he told everyone, just like we've been commanded to fast to take care of our soul, we now need to eat because we need to take proper precautions in the face of this disease. So as we face this outbreak, no religion reminds us more than Judaism that you can be alone and not be lonely. So we follow guidelines, we listen to what health officials are saying, but we also keep to make sure to feed our body no and sound. feed our soul. And so we're here with the Mizanrim. Thank you so much, Cantor Benny. We're here both to make sure that you keep your body nurtured, but also that you keep your soul nurtured with singing, and make sure that our spirit, our Jewish spirit, the one that's been so vibrant here for 130 years, continues unabashed and unstopped. Amen. 
with what's happening. But the words here are very, very beautiful. In Rabbi Nishim's hands, I will put my soul. When I go to sleep and I w when I wake, I trust the Rabbi Nishim. So one more time. Oh, yeah, He who created the heavens and the earth, he's the one who's going to help us. And that's really exactly where we're looking now. We look up and we say, as we make Mashem, Oseshamayim Aretz.
time all of you listening to look out to, the people that live in your building, friends, people you wouldn't ordinarily think about, that may not have as easy access that we have to, to go to the stores. People are really, really scared and panicked. So I spoke to someone tonight in our building, his name is Mari Aloni, very, very wonderful member of our shul, went through a number of different concentration camps. And I called him up, I said, Mari, I was thinking about you on Shabbos. What, what's doing? How can I help you? And he says, I'm relaxed. Everything's okay. I was thinking he'd be panicked. He said to me, Benny, you don't understand. When you went through the Holocaust and you had, he says, as I did in Buchenwald, a Nazi SS officer hold a gun to your head, and I thought that my life was over, there's nothing else that can scare me. He says, I have hope and inspiration. God did not keep me all these years in order to be taken with the coronavirus. So I say this to you because these are moments that we need inspiration. People are very, very nervous. You go in the streets, you go to the stores, people are nervous, you don't know what to believe. But one thing for sure you can believe, and that is in the Rabbi Yishayim. As we may Hashem, God helps us, or He says, Shomayim Boris. So let's say, Toiv Lahoyvis Hashem, the song where we say it's great to say thanks to Hashem. Lahakit Babok Lechazdecha, to say in the morning the chesed, the, the kindness of Hashem, Vemunos Chavaleles, and believing in God at night. And Shlomo Kalbach always used to say, that the reason why you need a is baleilis is baleilis when it's dark, right? When you wake up in the morning, you see the sun, everything's fine. It's very easy to follow God. It's when it's dark, and sometimes it can be dark even during the day. But we should all find inspiration. We're here tonight for one purpose, and that is to send you chizuk. My friends here from Williamsburg, Philo couldn't be here, but sent you on the last minute notice. Rabbi Popko, Gabi, Dobi, we're here tonight for one reason only. We give you chizuk. Go on, be strong, and yet Hashem, Hashem will help us. Tov lahodos Hashem. right there in the 60s, the shul never closed. And this Shabbos, out of an abundance of caution, people were nervous, we have also a lot of old, older members, we have to shut the doors. And the entire Shabbos, I was thinking to myself, 
It's so hard to imagine. Shul is where you go. He, I know myself, you get up Shabbos this morning, you go to shul, you listen to the tefillahs, you listen to the rabbi, you listen to the choir, you get inspired. So how could we go a Shabbos without, so even though we couldn't go Facebook Live on Shabbos, at least Matzi Shabbos, we want to give you a little bit of a sense of the inspiration. And we're so happy that in so many different channels, we're broadcasting this, also to the members of the shul, also to the school, and we'll be sending it out later to the community. Because really, this is a time for chizuk, a time for us to get together. So one of the songs that we always sing, also in Shalashudas, and also in general, at all, all, our, all times that we go through as Jews, is Mizmer with David. Right? David Amelech says, Gam ki amodes, Thousands of years ago, King David thought about this, that there'd be a time where people would be nervous and be scared. And the message is, no matter what, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is with me. So I think now in this shul, 130 years of tefillahs, so many people celebrated happy milestones in the shul. So many special things happened here. Even ironically, the person that founded the shul, Wild, who also donated and founded Wild Cornell, where today they are treating all the patients that are sick, not only with corona, but with many other things. So it's amazing what this shul did for the community. So we come together tonight to sing Mizma Ladavid in the hopes that HaKadosh Baruch Hu looks out for every one of us and gives us the inspiration and refuah to stay alive for many, many years to come to Simcha. This is what
1867, during the uh, Six Day War, the famous musician uh, Shlomo Kalbach was going through the hospitals in Israel, visiting soldiers who got injured on the Egyptian front. There were various injuries. And he goes next to the bed of a soldier who lost his eyesight. And the soldier is sobbing and crying. And he realizes he's a young man. And he realizes uh, that there is a chance he won't be able to ever see again. And he was really, really sad. And it's at that moment that uh, Shlomo Kalbach took out his guitar and composed a very famous song with the beautiful words from Tehillim. He tells him, God says, I will give you long days, and I will show you, you'll have the vision of my salvation. And as Cantor mentioned, we're all so concerned, and we're thinking about, especially those older members of ours, the older people in the community, we're thinking about you. And uh, it's with you in mind that we say, God should bless you with very, very long years, happy years, healthy years, and uh, we're thinking about you. Yeah. That's the greatness of the talent we have at Park East. We have the rabbi, Rabbi Pukko, also plays on the guitar, also sings, also is a teacher in the school, also speaks all the minus. <laughs> children that are home and parents are concerned for their children and we're thinking about you and you're the most precious thing and uh, I'd like to also thank Cantor Benny you know before anyone in Manhattan was uh, doing it 
at the entrance to the day school, at the entrance to Park East, there were already mandatory uh, hand sanitizing stations and really you were on top of it from the beginning and I appreciate it. So thinking of all the children and uh, all the students and everyone, there's a beautiful song and words that parents tell their children, Nesimcha Elohim Ke Ephraim Menashe, we're thinking about you, may God bless you like he blessed Ephraim and Menashe, when Jacob blessed them, so we're thinking about you, we're praying for you, and stay safe.